we'll just learn today creating realistic reflections using Photoshop and Lightroom. So this image I took in the year 2017 in November. It was a cold winter morning. People usually cross from this route. It is a very temporary path which they have made on their own to cross. It's basically a shortcut from one, path, one area to another area. So there are migrants or daily wagers carrying their own stuff. I shot this image in the year 2017 and it was 9 o'clock at that time when these people were traveling to their workplaces. For clicking this type of compositions, your reflections are really key here. So if you lose out the reflections, your composition will be out of context. The settings for the image was focal length was 250mm, aperture f8 and ISO was 400. The ISO was selected at 400 so that's why a bit of grainy effect was there in the background and I'll just fix it in Lightroom. So now we will remove the disturbing elements like this plastic waste and stuff from the image so that our image looks clean. Uh, whatever we can do we will try it with the content aware. We will just click edit, fill and select content aware and the photoshop's AI will do it for us. Now we will just select the rectangle marquee tool and select the area we want after to the margin or the line you can say. You will come with the free transform tool and hit the right click button and hit flip vertical and drag it down till you want the reflections to be visible. So hit enter or hit the tick mark and now I would recommend you to select the background layer and drag it down till you want the reflections to be like completely visible so that you can see what's going on with the reflection since that took the image a bit wider and bigger than it was actually so we are already closer to what we want but there are a lot of things to be required and to be done to make it more realistic and select control the layer plus select the mask and unlink the mask and now select the layer back and now hit filter blur and motion blur and you have to select the angle to 90 degrees and now um, you can play with the distance to just get the perfect reflection for your image. For this example, 71 looks great for me. So I'll just select 71 and, and now you will select and for this chart we will go to the ripple so that we can select the density which is good for me and you can just drag the sliders to see what happens and now select the app one for you for 355 looks for me so you, as you can see there are a lot of disturbing lines here 
so just to create some uh, disturbance in the water so the water look, doesn't look still and you can select the filter again and select Gaussian blur and Gaussian blur 3.1 looks great for this example 3.1 3.2 yeah and now you have selected 3.2 and now yeah so there's a, there is a line which has been created when we inverted the image in the properties you have to select the mask button and select the properties and increase the feather accordingly and for this example that looks perfect and it's good to go and we can increase the feather to just blend it perfectly with this image so it looks very natural and, it, and we can select the grid as we want and we can crop it down and if you want one is to one for instagram one is to one looks good if you want a long wider angle for any image it looks good whatever you feel you want the perspective to be you can select that and the last step is to select the levels and make sure you have selected the clipping mask button so that it affects only the reflection not the whole image and you can just export it and if you want to play around with the color temperature other parts you can do that as well so as you can see in this image sunrise and sunset is around 2500 kelvin moonlight is around 4000 midday sun flash is around 5500 cloudy sky 6500 7000 out of shade clear blue sky 10000 kelvin so you can just play around the temperature and you're good to go don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you learn something and follow me on instagram facebook and twitter see you guys in the next one